And welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo midrange. Let's bring back our Yasuo deck now with the new patch. Patch 9-4 has upgraded Yasuo. Yasuo used to be a 4-3, now is a 4-4. Added that extra point of toughness. Definitely makes Yasuo harder to kill if you play him on turn 4. You know, no, um, get excited uh, being able to kill him right away. Um, and then, of course, leveled up now is a 5-5 five five instead of a 5-4, you know, because it has the, just the additional point of toughness. So let's play our Yasuo deck again. Now, one thing, okay, if you may remember, last time that we played it, we took out an Intimidating Roar and added in a Yone Wind Chaser. You know, we wanted that third Yone in there. Now, I like the third Yone. We're going to keep that in. But I'm putting the third Intimidating Roar back in because I feel like while I talked about how Intimidating Roar is the kind of card that can just be very very bad you know it could just be a dead card in your hand and do absolutely nothing and there there's definitely games that you play like your opponents don't really have the enemies with uh with four or less power or they just go straight to combat and like stunning them doesn't really do anything there's there's definitely games like there's a lot of games where this card doesn't do anything however what i noticed after taking it out there were also a lot of games where it was like the singular card that we needed to draw when we we're playing against the aggro decks we really want our yasuo plus intimidating roar combo it's just such a strong combo you can stun a whole bunch of enemies and level up uh yasuo so fast and deal a whole bunch of damage to those enemies of course it's just uh you know so it can be a one one-sided board wipe basically while leveling up Yasuo, it's just, it can be, the, the upside is so incredibly high that I think that we got to play all three. So I'm uh, changing that again. Um, we Also previously I did, went from two to three Steel Tempest. That's how we're uh, finding room, taking out the, the third Steel Tempest, just because of how um, impactful Intimidating Roar can be. All right, but uh, there, there we go. So um, let's play some Yasuo midrange. Let's change our board. Let's go with the Clifftop Monastery. Let's try brand new 4-4 Yasuo. See how he looks after this new patch. See how he does. So this deck, of course, we really, really want to draw Yasuo early and often. Uh, makes everything in our deck a lot better. So that's what we're hoping to do. Okay, we'll get rid of the swift foot. Karma as control. I guess I just keep the blade twirlers also. I guess we just keep all these. Of course, getting rid of the swift foot that costs nine mana. All right, deny can be good. This fluffy tail definitely did fool me. I didn't realize that was an entire tail. First time we were playing this deck, talking about that card. Yeah. Honestly, maybe I'm supposed to wait there. Alright, if I play Yasuo, they got 5 mana. So basically they need either 2 spells or... Um, hmm. So basically they need, they need 2 spells or uh, Thermogenic Beam. This Ezreal is going to be wreck me. I kind of need to be real aggressive. I think I want to be real aggressive. Bread. 
lagging if you could back it up. Fluffy tail school yet. Firing. Ooh, that's an Ezreal's mystic shot. So if we count you know counter this, they won't get you know, like that's one Ezreal gone from their deck. That's one of the three. If we can kill this one, that's two of the three. My highest upside play is intimidating roar. I guess we still do it. Let's say they they can they can in response just kill my Yasuo and then that's going to be a bummer. But even if they do that, then the blade twirler will get plus six plus zero. Oh, okay, or they just deny it. That's also a thing they can do. I was going to say the blade twirler would still get plus three plus zero and then we would level up our other Yasuo. Love for them to play something pre combat. Sounds dangerous. No. I'm in. I don't, I don't play a Yasuo Steel Tempest, do I? If I don't, they just get a free Mystic Shot and can kill kill this. Uh, but if I do. I do then like the rest of my turn isn't very good it's definitely hurt having just like the, the turn three Ezreal oh, it's so good Love this. Ouch. Well, I will be able to play Yone and have Might also next turn. I'll do what must be done. Yeah, that was really not good for me. At least they didn't have their own Yone. Bragging if you could back it up. 
I'm still probably bragging. We have, yeah, to protect Yasuo, there's twin disciplines and steel, uh, the, the life steal one. Uh, yeah, the life steal barrier card, four mana. Yes, yeah, Mina Swiftfoot's ability goes on the stack just like Yone. You can, you can deny Mina Swiftfoot's ability. What's my best chance of winning? Feet were made for Roman and chicken. Is doing this during my, t you know, getting both of these blade twirlers in play first, that those can get pumped up. They kind of need to either, with the four cards, kill me right now or have deny. If they can't kill me and they don't have deny, they're in a lot of trouble. Well, I guess they get to play Yone. Still in a lot of trouble, right? Your end is my duty. I don't know. They have Lifesteal Barrier. That's their plan? Awesome. Got the win. Was that our first game with Yasuo? Are we just 1-0 now? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, 12 minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. It was just so long, it felt like it wasn't the first game. Now, the, the opponent's playing... Yeah, they're playing Karma Ezreal. No, I don't like the five cost Legion General. I, I think that card's kind of overkill. Um, yeah, I, I don't think you need that card. It's, like, real fast aggro can be tough, and control can be tough, and I don't think he really helps against either. I guess he kind of helps against control, I suppose. Um, Let's see. But just makes your deck a lot clunkier, having that five drop. Let's get rid of that too. Honestly, what am I? I should get rid of the house spider also. We need to find Yasu. I should have got rid of the house spider too. Nope, no karma. Just that, just Yasuo. You can still win if you don't draw Yasuo. Like that last game we won. Like we did draw Yasuo, but it's not like Yasuo really did anything. We never. We never had Yasuo's ability while he was in play. They, they just killed Yasuo. And, you know, we still won. Like, uh, the Yones and Swiftfoots can win games, for sure. Yones and Swiftfoots definitely can win games. That was perfect. So their top card was Conspirator that they drew immediately and got to play. That is perfect. Haven't looked at a one bit key Muriel. I don't know anything about it. Honestly. Okay, we got a William. You cannot escape. 
I this block could definitely be wrong. I'm just kind of getting some damage on, um, on the the three three so that like our next two two trades with it. No, probably not, Key Muriel. Probably not. There's a, you know, like, with later this month with Legends of Runeterra, we're, we got a new set coming out also, so we've been having the previews for that, and uh, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fully released game on mobile and everything. So, been looking forward to that. Let's see, we're gonna have Blade Twirl. Okay, how am I sequencing this? Blade Twirler, Shadow Assassin. Might. I guess I just don't need to Will of Ionia right right now. Like I kind of want to Will of Ionia and. and pump the, the blade twirler but I guess I should wait on will of Ionia like all these omen Hawks they can make some some really big um, elusive creatures that we need to wait on will of Ionia so we'll just go uh, blade twirler and shadow assassin so yeah Kimira what what haven't you liked about the game what um you know, like what you're saying, you're struggling getting into it. I know a way. Please control. Get the drop on him. Catch me if you can. We Could bounce the Zed right now. They don't get to level up Zed. Is that worth it? Oh, it's on. I dare you. Yeah, is there is there a difference like with, you like the color identities of magic? Is there like is there a difference with like the color identities or the region identities? But yeah, no, I understand the depth part absolutely. Um, yeah, the game's still new; it doesn't it doesn't have the depth of, of magic for sure. So not letting them chump block with their 1-1s. One if they want to block, they're going to have to block with something bigger. Everyone here? Oh, go. come on. Never mind, I guess they'll block with 1-1s. One yeah, plain paper. Yeah. I'll take care of this. Yeah, this does not have the, the paper game, that's for sure. No, that was that. This was a bad mite. That's a bad mite. I'm gonna need that mite after, like later on, like after like, one of these other things. That, that was a bad mite. So I can pump that thing up more. Stop drawing all the denies. Ugh. 
they're willing to play that, they're probably willing to play something else. I'm in a lot of trouble. I am in a lot of trouble. Well, this time all those denies really denied us the win. But that would have been a game that would have been great to have Yasuo just during that game. But uh, I should have mulliganed all four of the cards in my hand with that game because that is a matchup that, that you really, really need Yasuo in, honestly. I should have mulliganed every card in my hand to look for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, that makes sense, Kimiriel. And you don't you don't have time to like play two games. You just want to uh, play MTG. And that also makes sense too. You just want to focus on one game. <laughs> okay. Well, we're all right. So we're playing the same matchup again. We got Yasuo this time. Definitely a very important card to have. Um, let's keep this hand. Okay. There isn't. There really isn't too many rules because it's so it's so new and and like you said, like it, you know, it doesn't have like the same depth. There isn't that many rules interactions, but. Um, but yeah, as as far as myself, I'm I'm not really planning like I you know, I enjoy this game a lot more. I think it's a lot more balanced and, and I'm not really planning on um, playing magic again anytime soon. Oh, thank you, Nets. Thank you. Happy to have you here. Why does that thing have to be a 4-3? Uh, Omen Hawk is busted. You know, if that was a regular 3-2 Zed, we could block with Twin Disciplines. Omen Hawk is busted. Yeah, it's perfect in this deck. I mean, they're they're playing Freljord just for the card. Some things never die. In this deck. I'm really good at drawing Deny in this matchup where Deny doesn't do anything. I guess they could have Will of Ionia and I would do something then. You cannot escape. I think I think I do need to protect against Will of Ionia just in case. So I'm not playing the Seal Tempest. Deny looks different, you know, Deny is different, you know, it used to, you know, like it, it's worded differently and everything. No. Well, I guess we're not killing Zed yet. Yeah, like, and I mean, last game it was Omen Hawk turn one and then turn two, um... on the weakest enemy and then it was uh turn to uh, face my fate. Your turn. Uh, the navori conspirator you know make it a three three 
I really like their chump locks. Combo. We have the Minotaur Reckoner Yasuo combo. We're going to uh, slowly mow him down. Slowly. I would love for them to play something pre combat. You really shouldn't against the Yasuo deck, like with all the stun stuff. You really shouldn't play anything pre combat, but I would love for them to. GG's. Five damage. Dang. Just like one more turn. Like, you know, if they can't kill me this turn, we're going to win that game. If they don't kill us that turn, we were we were definitely going to stabilize and, and win the game. They had that turn and they got me. Yeah, you can only deny... You can't deny burst spell speeds, and Twin Disciplines is a burst spell speed. Uh, those combat tricks are mostly burst spells and stuff, and you can't deny them. Vladimir? Alright, so this is definitely very aggressive. Let's get rid of our 6 and 7 drops. So close to stabilizing. We needed one turn. One turn. Yeah, I'm trying to do the same thing here, Kimirio. Uh, you know, make a whole bunch of fun decks and everything like that. I'm doing the same thing with this game now. best let's try to set up some more blade you know try to get the blade twirlers in in play first before we start stunning everything we have six mana potentially I guess we don't get that other Blade Twirler in, because we really should play the Arachnoid Sentry right now. And keep them from attacking with one of these Boom Crew rookies. They attack out. Yeah, like we got the Steel Tempest, which makes me feel pretty good. Um, I think we'd Steel Tempest the. I guess we could Steel Tempest the Legion Rearguard. 
like we have these trade these trade steel tempest the rear guard and have this oh, kill their boom crew rookie Gotta get those Boomka rookies out of here. Should have just gone straight to attacks, but that's all right. It's not really about it's you know about whether we're gonna stabilize or not. That card's now, you know, that card used to cost three mana, now it costs two. It's a pretty cool little upgrade. Nice. They get a lot of boom for rookies. That is nice. I can do this. It's definitely nice. Put this here. All right. Well, let's see. So I'm taking six just from the attacks. Um. What happens if I kill all the Boom Crew rookies and I take three there? I go down to four. Four is not a great place to be. I mean, if I go this way, I'm only going down to six, so it's not like that's the, that's great either. We're at four, but all their boom crew rookies are dead. Backfired. Obviously, I don't want to see a decimate. That would be pretty sad. Oh, that's a good point. Like, I could have just kept the rookie out. They wouldn't be able to attack with it. Because of the Minotaur Reckoner. I guess I didn't really consider that, to be honest. Kind of, yeah, I didn't really consider the Minotaur Reckoner triggers. So then I could have blocked the 3 2 and stayed at 6. Do what must be I hope they don't have another uh, used cask salesman. That'd be really bad for me. I guess that's worse for me. Taking lethal. Hmm. Yasuo. That's two two games that we were so close to stabilizing. Those these last two, we were both so close to stabilizing, but just didn't get there. So yeah, if I made the other block, I guess I, I would have still been at one if I would have made the other block, and and then you know they wouldn't have. Uh, I just forgot about the reckoner not letting that boom crew rookie attack again. Should have made the other block. All right, let's hopefully draw Yasuo and have intimidating roar with it. I'm just playing against the, the Zed Lucian deck. This is ugly. Come 
Mon Yasuo, where are you at? I need to draw you. I need to draw you really bad. Do not fear the shrouded path. Uh, this is what I'm kind of talking about with Intimidating Roar, though. It just doesn't it doesn't actually do anything. A lot of games are... Simply doesn't do anything. Push back the darkness. But if you have the Yasuo with it... You can have a great combo. I don't know, I guess I could take the damage. Taking the damage lets me get the Reckoner in play. champion. We really, really need our champion. About to be a one and four. I guess I'm just playing Will of Ionia because it costs more mana. So I'm one mana short of going Yasuo and Intimidating Roar and with Deny back up. Um, I'd still go for it though and hope they don't have any interaction. 
Wish we had one more mana. I go where the road takes me. Soldiers, to me. these turns with all this wasted mana. Alright, so one and four. and four. It's a bummer. The we don't have new cards right now, Sweet Liberties. That's the end of the month. There's a new pat like the new patch came out today though. Um so new cards will be in like two weeks. Uh the patch came out and changed and uh and buffed some champions, including Yasuo, and that's what we just tried playing some Yasuo, but uh games didn't go my way. The I mean that fourth game I would have I could have saved two life by making a different block and then maybe maybe I would have had lethal um, if you know maybe I used like the twin dis disciplines to save the bigger fey blade twirler at the time and then I don't I don't know the exact math on like if I would have been attacking them for lethal if they would have had to use those burn spells to kill like my my blade twirler and stuff like that um, and then you know maybe we could have won that one. And then the, but, you know, some of those games were so, you know, we were so close. We need them not to have a removal spell or a deny that last one. And we were one turn away from stabilizing. Like those were just really, really close games that, you know, could have gone our way. They just didn't. Um, yeah, the, but the, um. The aggressive decks, you know, can can be a problem, like the super aggressive decks, yeah, and that's what we saw. We saw two elusives, burn aggro, and uh, Demacia. That yeah, they they all of them had awesome hands. Um, you know, none of them like they they had like they had like their you know ten twenty percent best hands, all of them, and we just didn't quite stabilize, but got really close to stabilizing in all the matches. So. You know, like it's it's right there, it's right there, but um, you know, it's we're not beating. You know, like sometimes we can't beat those. You know, twenty percent of their best, you know, like their best twenty percent hands at times. But I mean, I like the deck. We've we've had a good amount of success with this deck previously, um, but just couldn't quite stabilize. And yeah, that like that's why I'm not playing like that five mana general like. Basically, every, so many times I play against Yasuo, I see people playing this card in it, but it doesn't. This card doesn't help you stabilize either. This card doesn't really help. Um, the refuge has looked pretty good. Maybe you want another refuge over a, di a twin disciplines. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, yeah. So that, I mean, that's. What was wrong with the deck? I mean, the wrong. What was wrong with the deck is just, just our opponents had really awesome hands, and you know, we we just like were a turn. We were a turn away from stabilizing basically all those times, except for that last game. It wasn't really a turn. We were one mana away. If we if we would have had deny available, also, I guess it was really one turn also because if we could have untapped and played the intimidating roar with deny backup. So we're basically just like one turn too short against decks that had really really good hands. You know, we play some games where they don't have. No, I don't. I don't think Karma would have helped at all. Karma doesn't help stabilize against aggro. It's too slow. 
<clears throat> karma helps you outgrind mid range and control. That's what karma does. But no, karma wouldn't have helped in any of those games that we lost. Um, maybe another refuge instead of the might. So, like, the thing in the might is, like, you know, allowing, like, a big blade twirler to, to kill him or, or whatever. But probably probably that's what we would want is just get another refuge in here. Like, that lifesteal is really important. And the other thing is, like, refuge with um, with Yasuo is awesome because Yasuo is the thing doing the damage. You, you can set up, you know, lifesteal your Yasuo and then, you know, strike a bunch of stuff. I think that's kind of what I wanted wanted was another refuge yeah I think that I think that would be better I think refuge would be better than might get the get another you know it's, it's protection for Yasuo and that life steal help you survive I like that and then because you know like with those games like we usually have like you know one of our last turns, we play like you know Reckoner, Yone. Like these are big six sixes. Even the Blade Twirler, if you if you get this thing to being you know, like a five power creature, getting like those kind of things, getting being able to refuge those that five six life, that's a, a huge difference. Like that that can help you stabilize. So I think I think that's like the one thing that could maybe help us. That's what I recommend. All right, there's Yasuo Midrange. Those y'all watch on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, let me know how this deck's going for you. I'll try it again with this third refuge. Uh, we'll try this again uh, sometime soon. Um, but if you're playing Yasuo yourself, um, you know, after the patch here, let me know how it's going for you. Leave a comment over there on YouTube. But thanks so much for watching some Yasuo Midrange and I'll see you for the next video.